What's going on guys, Car Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be teaching you a super easy car trick that you can't screw up. Let's do it. Alright, now check this out. We'll start off by having a card selected by the spectator. Let's just say it's this card, the um, uh, Four of Clubs. Okay, once the spectator takes a look at the card, remembers it. We'll have the spectator call out stop as I ruffle through the deck, and then we'll just place the card right there. Let's just say stop here, we'll put the deck right, we'll put the card right into there, and we'll push that in. Now watch, here's where the really cool thing happens. If I just snap the deck, we'll see that the entire deck turns face up, except for that one card, which is the four of clubs. Now this trick is actually quite simple to do. And I'm going to be showing it to you in two ways. One is the more difficult way, one is the easier way. The one I did in the performance was a bit more difficult to do, but if you're, you know, willing to learn, then you could do it that way. So uh, we start off, of course, with a regular deck. And what we have to do before even doing anything is you have to turn the bottom card, you flipped over, you just pretty much flip over the bottom card and put it on the bottom of the deck. So this way, when the cards are spread out, you'll see this card is flipped over on the bottom, the rest of the cards are all fine. Now when the spectator picks out a card, let's say this one, it's four of hearts. Now what I like to do at this point, right, they pick out the four of hearts, I give it to the spectator. And as I give it to the spectator, I also turn the deck face over and put it down. Okay, so the card is selected, I say okay, take a look, remember your card, show everyone. And while I'm talking to the spectator, doing this to the spectator, I turn this um, pretty much whole deck over and I put it down right so now they have their card the whole deck is pretty much all set to go because when they insert it into the deck right they insert into the deck here for example they pretty much just inserted it into a deck that's all face up okay so that's pretty much the entire trick now the ending can go one of two ways the first way is how I performed it um, so the first way is uh, called the Cardini change where you take the top card You're pretty much flicking the top card To here to the side and then you're just gonna bring it down And I'm not gonna go into you know a deep tutorial on this because I have already made a tutorial video So I'll put a link to that on the screen if you don't know how to do the Cardini change All right. And if you do know how to do the Cardini change then then you're good and you could do it this way So um, yeah, so that's the first way to do it now the second way, uh, right coming from here where their card is face down in the center and this random card is here. Second way to do it would be to do this, just like that, and then spread out the cards like this just to show them. Boom, there's a card, the four of hearts. So now doing it this way, um, there are a couple things you have to keep in mind, but let's just start from the beginning again. Okay, so we have this card, face down on top we want to get rid of it but th in this way we actually just avoid getting rid of it in general all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this hand over right this is the top part of the deck we're gonna turn this hand over we're gonna come over with our other hand grab the bottom part of the deck and turn it around like this so um, in full speed everything is really covered so you can't really see anything so it just looks like that Okay, so they don't think you're doing anything fishy, it just looks like some fancy move that you're pulling off. Okay, so one more time, just, that's pretty much it. Right, so you're here, ask to put it in the center, do your fancy move, you can tell them you're doing a fancy move, say some magic words, whatever you gotta do. And then at this point, all the cards are facing down, except one card, which is the spectator's card, and of course, the one card that you originally had on top. So of course, just um, when you're doing it this way, you can't reveal it with the card face up because that's a major issue. You're going to have to reveal it with the card facing down. And one problem that you're probably going to run into is when you're spreading the cards out, you're going to see that this top card also is going to reveal itself along with the spectator's card. So here's one thing you can do to avoid it. You're going to come over, right? You grab this deck, you're going to come over, you're going to shift it first in the opposite direction of the spread. So shift it first in this direction. And the reason you wanna do that is because you wanna um, slightly shift these cards um, in the opposite, in the direction you're gonna spread it into, right? So when you're doing a regular spread, you're spreading like this. 
However, we want this card to not be part of the spread. So either when you're spreading, you can come down with the deck like this, shift it over to displace these cards here, and then do a spread. Okay, that wasn't really the best spread, let's try it again. So we come here, shift it over this way, and then do the spread, right? So this way you won't see the bottom card here. Or another thing that you could do is you come here, you shift this over before you even put it on the table, and then you spread it out. So this is actually an easier method of doing it, but if you don't want the hassle of you know doing this and then and then spreading it, you can just put it on the table, shift it the other way first, and then spread it again. So it's pretty much your preference on what you want to do. I like doing this trick the first way because I like performing the Cardini change, it's a lot of fun. But um, if you don't think you want to work up the Cardini change, this is definitely the method that you should go with. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below for all my status updates and whatnot. And uh, that being said, I will see you in my next video. Welcome to the end screen. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because subscribing is good. Thanks for watching.